Photoshop is dead. Yep, you heard me right. And I am little bit exaggerating here to be honest. But this is, I would say, Da Vinci moment for Photoshop. And just like Da Vinci software, which is not just alternative of Premiere Pro, but also of After Effects. Similarly, a software known as Affinity Studio, powered by very popular Canva app, launched this for absolutely free no if no but no subscription no one-time fee and nothing like they are training our data to teach their ai to work more smartly i mean this is their claim but the good thing here is we're gonna get this software for absolutely free and why this is big news because affinity have got pro grade features just like we have in case of photoshop Affinity Studio not only cover the aspect of Photoshop, but you're going to also see Adobe Illustrator and Publisher. So all in one in just single package for free. Plus this is also powered by AI. And the catch here, the creator or the maker of this Affinity Studio says like how they are earning it. They are in a way promoting users to use AI which uh, it's up to you if you want to use it you can use it if you do not want then nobody is pushing you to upgrade to canva pro so it is really a very big thing because earlier we only had photoshop and then we had to pay hefty amount that is reoccurring in nature so now if you move your workflow to this software you do not need to pay any amount forever Affinity Studio Maker also promised to keep on updating this forever. But the good thing is right now we are getting it for free. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can download and install it in your Windows machine. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now we are in our computer screen and let me quickly open internet browser here and let's type affinity.studio and not to worry guys again i'm gonna provide you the download link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this page now here uh, we also can read about how can affinity be free by clicking here on learn more and by watching this video there's one big question that's being asked affinity is now free how the hell is that even so again, I'm going to also add the link of this video in the description so that you can go through. But for the time being, let's go back and let's see how we can download it. Simply click here on the top of it says get affinity. Now, when we click on it, make sure you already have Canva account. So if you do not have Canva, which I believe everybody is aware of, uh, you know, it is very easy to sign up. All you need to do is you need to click on sign up and then um you know you can sign here up but since i already do have i'm gonna click on continue and then this will take me to this page where affinity is available for both windows as well as mac so let's click here on download for window and then for most of us it will be x64 for snapdragon processor users they should go with arm 64 so let me actually select this particular one which is msix and here we go the process of download has already begun and we have successfully downloaded it now let me open this and let's install this by making double click now you're gonna see this kind of installer click here on install and then again you need to click on yes And there we go. We just installed Affinity Studio in our system. And as I was saying that this is tied up with your Canva account and I can also see my account detail here. Now, if you are looking for tutorial, the good thing is Affinity also provide tutorial which you can follow and can, uh, you know, quickly learn it. But let's say if you are coming from Photoshop, I would say it would be very easy for you because affinity also follow layer based approach that we can see here on the right hand side and actually as i was mentioning that it is three in one software which is it comes with the power of adobe illustrator adobe photoshop and publisher so uh, when i'm saying publisher and i think it will be close to microsoft publisher as well as uh, you can compare it with adobe indesign then we also do have got this 
Canva AI Studio, which I'm going to talk about in a while. So right now I have selected Vector which means that I am working in Adobe Illustrator alternative. And then you can see here a very similar kind of layer based approach, which here you can, you know, work with. And then the tools here on the left hand side are also pretty similar. And one of the most powerful here is pen tool, uh, which a lot of users use. So here we can see we do have got all these different kind of tools available that you can use to create your vector image. Now let's talk about Photoshop, which is pixel. Um, for that, probably I need to open a photo. And here also, I would say you're going to see very similar kind of layout and toolbar. Uh, on the right hand side, we can see layer based approach, channel, brush. It is almost same, I would say. And then um, you can also connect with pixel to get stock footage. For example, I would like to search for a blogger, for example. And here from pixel, I'm going to get it. So let me actually import one picture from here. And really it is so nice because everything here you are getting is kind of absolutely free because pixel also provide us copyright free content. Okay. So this is image I have imported from pixel here. You can see you're going to get all pro level features. Now let me go back again on layer and then um, just like Photoshop, you can customize your background. You can, um, you know, do all the thing that is required to perfect your photo. Then here we have got layout, uh, which is, I would say again, kind of alternative to publisher. And then you're going to see similar kind of tools available. Then comes the AI studio where you have capability of generative AI. For example, I would like to generate image by myself or even vector, I would say. So that's even great. So let's say I would like to create a vector where I would like to create a cat, generate a cat driving a car. So here the generation capability might also depend the kind of Canva plan you are using. And I am also new to this, so I still need to explore uh, before actually I uh, really come up with uh, more information. So here uh, we can see this is the vector style image being created. And if I ask it to generate an image, let's see what it come up with. And there we go. So this image look uh, much more realistic as we have generated photo this time. So here you can see you're going to get a really pro grade feature. And if you already know Photoshop, then probably the learning curve of this software will become even shorter. And then here we can see there are tons of other features. For example, generative expand, which is really great. Then we have got the generative fill, generative edit. So all these AI powered feature that you're going to get here. We also have option of increasing resolution. For example, the original resolution of this image is not that great so one can actually utilize this super resolution tool and seems like it's required certain model to install for that um, probably we need to go to setting and then here uh, we have got this super resolution so let's turn it on and these are the capability uh, that you're gonna get with a pro subscription of canva that also include the student version so I'm going to just turn on all these capabilities. So by seeing the software, it look even more polished than Photoshop. Now I just enabled this uh, super resolution. Let me again click on it. And there we go. Seems like we have enlarged the picture. So once again, you're going to get all these capability of Illustrator, Photoshop, Publisher, plus Canva AI Studio at one place and that too for absolutely free. And that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If you have got any questions or doubt in your mind, please feel free to ask me and comment down below. Also do subscribe to Technoholic Plus for more such productivity video. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.